For Criminal Media's Policy, I'm Tabi Shomulekai. Joining me today is Professor Raymond Sadna, here to unpack his column titled Xenophobia. You repeatedly write on xenophobia, so why is it so important for you? You know, I always find it shameful when people attack those who are already vulnerable. The majority of the people of this country experienced apartheid for centuries, what was called different things at different times. Now, people who have come from difficult situations in other countries are here. And in order, in my view, to divert attention from problems in this country, they attack the most vulnerable. And I think uh, for a country like ours, and a former liberation movement like the ANC, uh, who sheltered in countries for a long time, it's disgraceful. A country like Zambia was repeatedly attacked by the apartheid regime, later Mozambique and Zimbabwe, and to some extent Swaziland. And their development in all these countries would have been much better uh, had they not shielded our people. In Mozambique, uh, some 30, 40 people were killed when they had the Matola raid. Uh, And a lot of those people were from Mozambique. If you go to the memorial there, you'll see it. So I just find it uh, a disgraceful thing. And it's an attack on the notion of freedom being something that attaches to everyone. And why do you think xenophobia has become so much of an issue today? Well, at the top, the people who ought to have ensured um, better life for all, housing, water, electricity, and jobs, uh, instead of admitting their own failures, they broadcast achievements of some time ago. And when and they all the time saying our borders are porous, people just come in and they're taking jobs from our people and they must go and inspect how many people are in this job and that job. Or health care is meant for our people, not not for others. Now the idea of liberation of all the liberation movements was pan-African and internationalist. They regarded one another as brothers and sisters, just as now South Africa has come to the assistance of the Palestinian people in this court case. You know, there were people staying in parts of Soweto, I can't remember from what West African country they come from, it's a French-speaking place, from the 40s. So people have been in this country for a long time, partly because of migrant labor in the mines, things like that. So it's not a new thing to have foreign people here, But the new thing is that there's a crisis and that they're holding these people responsible for the crisis. And lastly, Raymond, you suggest that the notion of social cohesion is not restricted to citizens. How can that be? Surely we are building a South African society. You see, the reality is that these people have lived in communities with South Africans for a very long time. That is why you find mixed reactions when there are xenophobic attacks. Some members of the community actually will shield these people, protect their, help them protect their goods. Others will join in the attack because they're hungry and they want to loot. So, you know, people are mixed up because they are hungry. But unless there is an attack on them, You know, there's quite good relations but in a lot of communities between foreign traders and the communities because they offer a different service from other people. You know, if you want to buy one single cigarette at a shop, you can't do that in most shops. But at the foreign migrant shops, you can do that. Likewise, they give credit when others don't give credit. And a lot of it, some years ago, they they showed how it was instigated by competitors and transport was provided by competitors. So there's a lot of reasons related not to foreigners being thieves and rapists and drug dealers and all this nonsense, but which of which there's very little proof, 
but really because there are problems that everyone has got because of the poverty in South Africa, affects every one of us in different ways. Obviously, those at the bottom of the pile are affected most, and they sometimes think, well, this chap's taking my may take my job or something. That was Professor Raymond Sadna speaking to Criminal Media's Polity about xenophobia.